Now, whether you're a photographer or videographer, or both, like Michelle and I, you probably have an issue when it comes to managing storage, whether it be your SSDs or memory cards. So today I'm gonna to give you two epic professional tips on how to make your life so much easier and manage your storage as a professional. Number one, SSDs. Now, I've recently started using the Transcend SSD. Now this is the 960 gig ESD 250C. For years I used to use the Samsung SSD T5. And although a lot of us may kind of look at SSDs and say, well, they perform a very similar function, there's a few things that kind of changed the Transcend SSD over to what I was used to. The build quality on this is amazing. It's insanely slim, it's built, very similar to that of a MacBook that you kind of know. But using SSDs, especially when you travel, having them so slim and so tiny makes it that much better. So let me explain. If I'm shooting a project and I need to edit something out on a location, I would take my SD card out of my camera and put it into my MacBook Pro. What I would then do is offload that footage onto the MacBook Pro hard drive and then at lightning speeds, copy it over to my SSD that's plugged in to the MacBook. Now, although this may seem like something simple, hear me out. I then take the SSD and I edit off of my SSD, leaving, if there is space, the footage still on the MacBook Pro. What this does is it creates a second backup in case anything had to go wrong with the footage or I had to lose it or accidentally delete it from my SSD. When I get back to the office and I wanna edit on an iMac, I would just unplug my SSD and plug it straight into my iMac. Likewise, if I am at the office and I'm editing on my iMac, I'd edit off an SSD because it's a lot faster than the Fusion drive that I have. If I have to travel, I then just unplug my SSD and head off with my MacBook Pro. If I wanna carry on working on that project, as long as all those files have been stored in the correct place, which they are in the one folder, I carry on editing that project as I have the whole project file with me. Working with SSDs, especially something like the Transcend SSD that's just so slim, is amazing. This thing is insanely tiny. Now, as mentioned, this is the 960 gig version, call it a one terabyte. So it's pretty much big enough to manage any project that I would generally work on in 4K. So if you're a MacBook Pro user and you've only got a 128 gig or 256 gig hard drive, SSDs like this is amazing. And it's something that you have to use. It's not like you really have a choice because your operating system just takes up too much space. Number two, memory cards. This is gonna probably change your life as a photographer, videographer, or a creator. I don't know about you guys, but generally my desk used to look like this. I never knew what memory card belonged where and if I had already cleared it. It kind of goes like this. You take the memory card and you go, wait, did I back this up? Have I offloaded the footage of this? Did I even see what is on this card? Is this still Sam's wedding? You know exactly what I mean. Every single time you see a memory card, you kind of panic and you wonder if you've backed it up or if you've even dumped that footage down onto your hard drive. Oh, and if you're wondering, this tip isn't exactly free. You just have to smash the like button or subscribe and then I'll tell you. Check this out. So when Michelle and I decided to build the office as you see it over here, we couldn't take the fact that memory cards were just everywhere. Now keeping in mind, I mainly do video editing and she mainly does photo editing. So there were memory cards pretty much between us all the time. So we created a simple design. We went over to our local deco or art store. We bought this little box with some deco paint. So if you wanna come up with a more cool concept, you definitely can, but here we go. If I come back from a shoot with a memory card and I'm not gonna clear it right now, it goes straight into the red box. Now the red box means danger, watch out, don't touch it. It hasn't been cleared. Once the card has been cleared and successfully backed up that footage, the card, that would usually lie on your desk, then gets dropped into the green box. Green means all clear, good to go. You can take the card and you can use it, but you probably just have to format it. The white box is for cards that have already been formatted. So from your green box, you'd move to the white box. So generally when I'm leaving for a shoot, I just have to either take out the green box, knowing I have to format it, or the white box, meaning they're already formatted. Now if you're asking what the yellow box is for, these are for those uncertain times that you used to live in. So 
Very seldom do I have something in the yellow box, but if I do find a memory card and I'm really not sure where it goes, I drop it into the yellow box. That means I just have to take that out and double check that one card or whatever is in here. So having a little system like this makes life insanely easy. Both Michelle and I know whenever we're leaving for a shoot, we have multiple cards ready on hand and we don't have to worry about it anymore. Needless to say, my desk is now permanently clear of cards and the only cards that are ever there are the ones that I've literally just taken out of the camera and I'm clearing them off. So I hope this video helped you out. I have dropped a link in the description below where you can pick up the Transcend SSD. I'll drop a link in the description for the 960 gig, which I actually have. What is pretty cool with the Transcend SSDs is they do come with a three year worldwide warranty. So no matter where you are, you are pretty much covered and there's none of that, oh well, you're over here now and you're not over there. So if you are traveling and you do have an issue or you bought it over there, you know exactly what I mean. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. Wherever you are in the world, have a good day, good evening, good night, goodbye.